Hey y'all, it's entry number 71 of this off-season series where we discuss a different player's fantasy value each day as a group. We are another day closer to the start of the 2022 NFL season. Each day we'll drop a name, go through some positives and some concerns of their fantasy profile, and then I'll give my personal opinion at the end. Today's discussion will be on Mike Williams, wide receiver, Los Angeles Chargers. We'll start with the positives with Mike Williams' fantasy profile, Joe Lombardi's offense, and Mike Williams' role. Joe Lombardi's teams have averaged an impressive 39.48 passing attempts per game over the course of his career, and his wide receiver room as a whole has averaged 14.05 receptions on 22.48 targets for 183.05 receiving yards and 1.05 receiving touchdowns per game. These numbers are all very encouraging to see if you are rostering a Chargers wide receiver. In addition, Joe Lombardi said during last year's offseason that there's no reason why he cannot be majorly productive. I've been impressed with him mentally so far, getting lined up and knowing what to do. As much as this offense will resemble New Orleans, he plays the X, and the ball has always kind of found the X receiver in this offense. I think that there will be some natural production that comes his way because of the nature of the offense. Playing the X receiver in one of the best offenses in the league makes it easier to invest in Mike Williams in fantasy leagues for 2022. The next thing I really like about Mike Williams' fantasy profile is that he's got an elite quarterback. Mike Williams has one of the best quarterbacks in the league throwing him the ball in Justin Herbert. As a rookie in 2020, Justin Herbert had the most passing touchdowns with 31 and completions with 396 by a rookie quarterback ever and had the best interceptable pass rate in the NFL during his rookie year, only having 15 interceptable passes according to QB Datamine. Herbert followed this up with an even better season in 2021, where he completed 443 passes on 672 passing attempts for 5,014 passing yards and 38 passing touchdowns to only 15 interceptions. Having a great quarterback makes it easier to trust Mike Williams in your fantasy leagues. The last thing I really like about Mike Williams' fantasy profile is his red zone usage. Mike Williams saw four red zone targets in 2017, the sixth most on the team, 15 red zone targets in 2018, the second most on the team behind Keenan Allen, 16 red zone targets in 2019, the second most on the team behind Keenan Allen again, 13 red zone targets in 2020, the third most on the team behind Keenan Allen and Hunter Henry, and 22 red zone targets in 2021, the second most on the team behind Keenan Allen and tied for the 10th most in the entire NFL according to NFL Savant. Being frequently targeted in the red zone should lead to plenty of touchdowns for the 6'4 receiver. Moving on to some of the concerns with Mike Williams' fantasy profile, coming off a career year. Mike Williams posted a career year last year where he had 76 receptions on 129 targets for 1,146 receiving yards and 9 receiving touchdowns according to Pro Football Reference. Whenever a player comes off a career year, there's always the question on whether or not they will be able to produce similar numbers the next year and be worth the increased cost. The next major concern I have with Mike Williams' fantasy profile is that he's not typically a target hog. Mike Williams has only had one season in his NFL career where he's seen more than 90 targets, 2021, with 129 targets according to Pro Football Reference. Over the course of his career, he's averaged just 5.46 targets per game. And given many of the other highly drafted fantasy wideouts have more extensive histories of seeing large target workloads, this could be used as a knock against Mike Williams. The last concern I have with Mike Williams' fantasy profile is that he's not traditionally great in yards after the catch. Mike Williams had a career high in the yards after the catch department in 2021 with 415 yards after the catch, the 26th best in the NFL according to Pro Football Reference. Prior to last year, Mike Williams had just 118 yards after the catch in 2018, 187 yards after the catch in 2019, and 162 yards after the catch in 2020 according to Pro Football Reference. There's a decent possibility 
that he posts numbers closer to his other NFL seasons in the yards after the catch department in 2022. Some additional thoughts on Mike Williams' fantasy profile. In 2021, Mike Williams finished as the WR9 in standard with 170.6 total fantasy points and 10.7 fantasy points per game. The WR10 in half PPR formats with 208.6 total fantasy points and 13.0 fantasy points per game. And the WR12 in full PPR formats with 246.6 total fantasy points and 15.4 fantasy points per game according to Fantasy Pros. In half PPR formats during the 2021 season, Mike Williams had 3 out of 16 games with 0 to 5 fantasy points, 5 out of 16 games with 5 to 10 fantasy points, 2 out of 16 games with 10 to 15 fantasy points, 3 out of 16 games with 15 to 20 fantasy points, 1 out of 16 games with 20 to 25 fantasy points, and 2 out of 16 games with over 25 fantasy points according to fantasy data. In 2020, Mike Williams was the WR42 in standard, averaging 7.0 fantasy points per game, the WR45 in half PPR formats, averaging 8.6 fantasy points per game, and the WR48 in full PPR formats, averaging 10.2 fantasy points per game according to Fantasy Pros. Mike Williams was the 7th overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. Personal Opinion Mike Williams is going off the board as WR18, about pick 53 overall, on ESPN, and WR20, about pick 56 overall, on Yahoo. I think he's a little undervalued at his current price. I have him in the WR13 to WR20 tier, but think that he should be on the mid or higher end of that tier than the lower end of that tier based on the fact that he's a guy that finished top 12 in all formats last year is in a pretty great situation as the X receiver in a high-powered offense and has one of the best quarterbacks in the league throwing him the ball. Target him in your fantasy leagues for 2022. For each of these entries, we will highlight a charitable cause or organization. I couldn't find a link to a charity that Mike Williams supports officially in my brief research, so here's a link to his teammate, Joshua Kelly's My Cause My Cleats in 2020, which was for the Jesse Reese Foundation. Here's a link to that organization below. And that's it for today's entry. If you enjoyed this entry, be sure to like and subscribe.